We're here in Houston this morning with Texas Attorney General Greg Abbott. General Abbott, welcome back to Texas GOP Vote. So good to be back with you again. Good Thanks. to see you and Merry Christmas as we're approaching Merry the Merry Christmas. Uh, you know, we just finished Thanksgiving uh, and now on to Christmas, uh, but a whole lot of work to do between now and then. I'm very grateful for the opportunity to talk to you about the issues that are facing Texans as we move forward into the next primary election and on into the general election in November next year. One of the issues I'm concerned about, I know you are too, um, my daughter is a school teacher and Texas ranks near the bottom in education. What can we do in Texas to move that issue forward and, and bring up the standard of education for our young children here in Texas? Well, like your daughter, uh, my wife has been both a teacher and principal and we've seen the powerful effect that education can have in the life of a child. Uh, you can take a, a, a child who uh, through education can go on and achieve things their parents couldn't even dream of and Texas has to do a better job of educating our next generation. My goal is simple. It's audacious. It's something I think people haven't talked about before. My goal is to make education system in the state of Texas the number one education system in the United States of America. We see all these rankings about college football teams. I want to see rankings about high school students in the state of Texas, and I want to see them ranked number one among high school students and junior high school students in the United States of America. You know, goal setting is obviously very important, and, and 50 years ago, John Kennedy set a goal for the United States to put a man on the moon and return him home safely again. I think it's, it's an interesting idea to set a goal like that for education here in Texas. Education, of course, involves several different levels, you know, your public schools and higher education levels. Um, what specifically are you going to be doing between now and, and the, the primary season, basically, in bringing up education issues? Uh, pretty soon we're going to be rolling out more specifics about mm -hmm. how we will be achieving that lofty goal. But I think uh, an important step along that pathway is to talk to the people on the front lines who are involved in this process. To do that, I'm traveling across the entire state of Texas, talking to teachers, to principals, to superintendents, to uh, the people who are on the ground working day to day uh, to educate our students. And then, of course, talking to maybe the most important people involved in this process, and that is parents. One thing we have to do a better job of is engaging parents more because if there's one thing that pays the highest dividends in educating a child, is parental involvement. Mm -hmm. If we can get parents more involved and get government off the backs of teachers, uh, have strong, uh, effective principals in schools, uh, the sky will be the limit to what we can achieve in improving education in Texas. Now in higher education, Texas has currently, what, four tier one yeah. universities? Texas has four tier one universities. There's University of Texas, Texas A&M, Rice, and University of Houston. California has nine. New York has seven. Mm -hmm. Listen, Texas is better than California or New York. We should have more tier one higher education institutions than those states. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my goals as governor is to have more tier one universities so that Texas is leading the way nationally and internationally in producing uh, students who graduate from our higher education institutions. Mm -hmm. Now one of the things that I hear from business people, in addition to the, the people coming out of our university system, they also need labor. Uh, there's a lot of growth, a lot of construction, a lot of uh, <coughs> people that we need to do skilled labor jobs in Texas, and we're having a hard time finding those kind of people. How can we change our education system to better prepare people to enter the business world and, and work in the labor market? That challenge may be uh, greater in the community we are in right now, which is the greater Houston area, more than any other place maybe in the entire country. Uh, the issue I hear from employers here is they do not have the skilled quality workforce they need coming out of school uh, to actually go into some incredibly high paying jobs. So what we're working on to do that, it, it began this last legislative session, but it needs to be continued on, improved and, and altered even more. Uh, we need to focus on uh, helping educate students in the high school level uh, to be career ready. Listen, going off to a four-year higher education institution and majoring in English is right for some people, mm -hmm. but not right for everyone. We, we can prepare students for the careers, for the high-paying jobs, 
here in the uh, greater Houston area and go straight there from high school, making a lot of money for their family, making them happy, making them contributors to the tax base here in the state of Texas. Another pathway is uh, we have so many excellent community colleges, two-year education programs uh, that will provide education over and above what they learned in high school, preparing students to uh, receive a certificate to be qualified to go into a specialty area in one of the trades here in the greater Houston area. We have to pursue uh, and expand uh, on these uh, pathways mm -hmm. and we're going to have the workforce that we need uh, to continue to grow the job market in the great state of Texas. Now one final question on, on education. Um, Common Core and C-Scope have been very controversial subjects here in, in Texas in the, in the last year in particular and I think Common Core is going to become more and more of an issue as we move forward into the, into next year. What are your feelings on those two issues? Uh, in the coming years Common Core is not going to be an issue because as governor I am not going to allow Common Core in Texas. Uh, C-Scope, I will drive a stake through the heart of C-Scope and ensure that neither C-Scope nor Common Core uh, have any level of threat or viability in the state of Texas. I know uh, that principals, teachers, parents here in the state of Texas know far more how to educate our students than do these bureaucrats in Washington, D.C. Well, General, I'd like to talk to you again about education after you finish your roundtables with all these educators and parents and, and see what you've learned through that process and where we're going to move forward with Texas and education. I look forward to it. Thank you very much and Merry Christmas. Thank you. Again. You too. Great to be with you.